the bus industry still struggling to recover from COVID? The American Bus Association president and CEO is Peter Pantuso, and he joins me now. Peter, I believe that your revenue for the bus industry, the private bus industry, is down about $7 billion compared to 2019. Is that accurate? So that, that's pretty accurate, Stuart. Good to be with you today. You know, last year was even worse. We are typically a $15.3 billion industry. Last year we operated at about $2.6 billion, and this year, you're right, we're down over $7 billion. It's, it's a, an industry that's really in peril right now. What's the, what's the main problem here? Is it lack of drivers? Is it the high cost of fuel? Or are people just not going back to the bus? Well, it's a, it's a challenge all across the board. So I look at the industry as really three different segments. The scheduled segment, the Greyhound Megabus, the charter bus, the commuter bus. On the commuter side, people just aren't going back to work yet. So those operations are slow to come back. On the charter bus side, that planning takes a long time, sometimes months, sometimes years. And you know, you have conventions and other events that take place on charter buses. You know, those are slow to come back. And then on the, uh, on, on the scheduled bus side, those are back at about 50%. But across the board, the industry is still operating at only about 50%. Better, than, obviously, than 2020, but a far cry from where we would normally be. The airlines got tens of billions of dollars uh, to help their industry. Did you get anything? Yeah, the airlines got tens of billions, Transit got tens of billions, Amtrak got billions, and, and they're all getting some more in the infrastructure plan that the president's going to sign later today. We got a little bit of money. There was a bill that we had in Congress that would have given the industry $10 billion. It would have been divided between the motor coach industry, passenger vessel, and school bus. And in the final analysis in December, it got cut from $10 billion to $2 billion. So we need additional help. We're actually back asking Congress for a little more help, not a, not a handout, not a bailout, but just a bridge to get us through this pandemic. Well, I mean, Congress, they want you to go green. They want you to go to electric buses. Surely you'll get some help for that, wouldn't you? Well, and we are the greenest form of transportation right now. You know, with clean diesel, with clean engines that have been in place for over a decade now, we are, on a per-passenger basis, the cleanest form of transportation. But we still need a little bit of help to get us through the pandemic. You think you'll get it? I hope so. I hope so. You know, we were disappointed to see that there wasn't any money in the, in the infrastructure bill. We were hoping maybe there would be some help in reconciliation, but that's still to be determined. And we understand that there might be a small business package that could work its way through Congress before the end of the year, and hopefully we'll be a part of that. You know, we are one of the only industries that I know of that are still operating at less than 50% capacity right now. Right. We're the industry that moves the military. We move people out of harm's way when hurricanes are approaching. We're small family business. We're, we're everything that America stands for, and we need a little bit of extra help right now in these okay. tough times. Keep in touch, Peter. We'd like to know if you get that help. Peter Pantuso, the American Bus Association. Thanks, Peter. See you soon. All right. Thank uh, you.